it's not going to be the first thing you think of with mental health, but it probably is the biggest factor in the United States of America in mental health. And that's what I mentioned before. It's called lipopolysaccharide endotoxemia. Now, that's a long mouthful. I'll explain what it is. Basically, the bacterial coatings in our gut have a very, very potent inflammatory immune effect. As long as they stay in the gut lumen, no big deal. It doesn't cause a problem. But because our society, our toxic world, our toxic chemicals, and I can talk later about how that affects the permeability of the gut, because all of these insults, and whether it's psychological stressors, um, isolation and loneliness, which we've seen an uh, epidemic in the last several years, and or whether it's toxic chemicals in our diet, in our water supply, in our food supply, or whether it's environmental insults like mold or um, in infections like tick-borne infections, Lyme, Babesia, Bartonella, Ehrlichia, or many other things, all of these things can have an effect on the degree of permeability of the cells in the gut, the cells that line the gut called enterocytes. These are like tiles on your wall. And when that grout between the tiles dissolves, all of a sudden the bacterial content start to leak through. And what you may or may not realize is the cell between the layer between the gut lumen and the immune system, which is the bloodstream, is one cell layer thick. So there's not a lot of barrier there. And if you lose that membrane integrity, all of a sudden the coatings of the bacteria and the food particles and things sneak in right straight to the bloodstream. Now, our immune system is housed all over our body, but primarily, especially with the gut immune interface at the gut lumen, we have a huge amount of dendritic cells that are just sampling. They're like Pac-Man and they're ready to be like, oh my gosh, there's a virus, let's attack. So they are ready to protect us. They are like the armed forces outside the city wall waiting for things that are gonna come by and attack and uh, like a virus or a bacteria. So they're ready, they're doing their job. But when they see foreign LPS, lipopolysaccharide, or food particulate, or things that have no business being outside the gut, like, what the heck? This stuff is not supposed to be here. They mount an immune inflammatory response. And now with COVID, this has become more common, the cytokines and stuff, the discussion of that. But we've known for decades that these cytokines that are respondents to an uh, insult and the immune system isn't always perfect. It can think that a, that a benign gut lactobacillus coating or bacterial coating or endotoxin is a threat. So it mounts an immune response, producing thousands of cytokines. And particularly one is related to mood um, and that's IL-6. We've probably also heard about that. If you just pull PubMed, stu PubMed studies of IL-6, depression, anxiety, insomnia, bipolar, et cetera, et cetera, the studies are alarmingly huge as far as the link between IL-6. So there's other cytokines as well, but what happens is this LPS tends to be one of the most potent triggers to cytokine production. And that cytokine production that goes on and has inflammatory effects all over the body. And the brain is a huge place where we see this with cognitive, subjective cognitive decline or actual cognitive decline, memory issues, um, inflammatory issues, um, even autoimmune disease like multiple sclerosis. Um, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's colitis, lupus, et cetera. And like I said, the links with depression, anxiety, insomnia, bipolar are all very, very clear and, and potentially more linked to LPS and IL-6 than anything else that we talk about.